Hello and welcome to another RPA tutorial video based on document automation. In our previous video, we have seen how to create and train a learning instance in document automation. And also, we have seen how to extract data from a form field from a particular invoice. In this video, we are going to learn about how to extract data from invoices where we have form field as well as the table data. Before start, Please support us by subscribing this channel and if you feel this video is informative and helpful then please click on the like button. So let me show you the PDF where we have table data as well as the form data. So we can see like we have the invoice number, invoice date and we have this table available with six column so here i have just noted down the form field and the table field which we are going to extract so let me minimize this so in our previous video we have already created a learning instance in our previous video so if you have not seen that video then i am i'm requesting you to kindly see that video so you can understand how we can create a learning instance and we can train the document in document automation so as our learning instance is already created so we are going to make some changes here and we will reuse this one so let me click here so it will open now let's see how many field we need so form field we need invoice number date term and total amount so we have invoice number date total payment term we don't need this salesperson and the contact details now in the table field we haven't add anything so now we are going to add the table field here so let me click here and we can see so we have something called code so let's see if something is there like code or not so we have the product code and we have to look for a description so this is our description quantity So we have made some changes in the learning instance now we are going to upload this document and see how the extraction is happening so let's get the part of the document and let's give the output location where we can get the csv file in case if it runs successful So let's see the status. Okay, so it got processed successfully and the document moved to the validation queue. Now let's try to understand why it moved to the validation queue. So from the form field, the bot is able to extract all the information that is fine now if you want to see like in which field because of which field this validation uh, issue is coming so we can see it from here also so it's up to you if you want to see all field or the only field where issue is there so basically we have the issue with our table so if you see this description everything is coming correct only if the quantity is also fine the unit price this is our total price now the product code okay so this is happened because it seems there is the aliases is not available so that is the reason bot is not able to identify so in that case what we can do with this document either we can map everything manually or we can close this and we can add this code under aliases for this product code column 
and we can re-upload the document. So we'll do both the things. So let me add this first manually so we can process this document. Okay, this request got completed successfully and we can see the data is downloaded. Let's go to our learning instance and see, try to understand the issue. So this product code, let's see whether we have anything called code. See, we don't have anything. The alias is available as code. So let's add something like code as per the document and update the learning instance. Now let's reprocess the same document and see whether we are getting the correct output or not. let me delete this okay now this time it uh, runs successfully and we can see this download csv option is now showing in progress so this document process correctly and it completed and download the output because bot has not found any issue because of like we have just added the product code so because of that only it is able to identify all the columns form field and the table field and data was downloaded successfully so now let's go to the folder and see so you can see here So this is the invoice number, date. And now this table section is here now. So this is our table section where we can see all the data got extracted correctly. So by this way, we can extract the data from the table. Hope you have noticed one thing here. So here with document automations, for this uh, table data extraction, we have not done any specific training. We have just only added the aliases and the column name, or I can say the field name from which we want to extract the data. And the document automation automatically extracted all the information and downloaded into the CSV. So there was no specific training required for this, this type of uh, document because this document is very much simple and straightforward yes but when we have some complex document in that case we have to train the document automation by putting or uploading some uh, sample files so we can train so a bot can understand and learn from the training whatever we are going to provide so depending on the document type or the document complexity you have to train your learning instances to get the correct output so from this video, I have just tried to explain you how we can extract data from form field as well as the table field data. So in other video, we are going to learn about some other uh, complex things also. We will upload some more documents and we will see how we can train and extract data from some complex document. And there also we will see some rules which we can apply to the document. So those things also we are going to explore it. So that's all from this tutorial video. I hope this video is helpful and informative. Thank you for watching this video.